Morning, Christ Kingdom Life Center. How you doing? God bless you. God keep you. Um, this morning, I'm excited to share a message with you. Something's burning in my heart. Um, I've gotten confirmation speaking with um, a lot of different people. I think this will be um, some advice, if you will, that will be a blessing to you. Remember, I said we don't want to come out of COVID-19 this, this season, this time, uh, within time, this Kairos time, this purposeful time, the same. God is changing our patterns. He's changing our ways of thinking. Um, but we must be intentional um, in seeking God, uh, yes, for his wisdom. Hear that very carefully. I do believe following his wisdom, his word, there are signs, wonders, and miracles. There's strategies. There's um, health. There's um, different ways of presenting the gospel. There's different ways of, of being um, the church um, that will radically change um, the areas in which we have influence. I want to say that we will uh, gather next Sunday, and I'm going to limit it to um, the ministers and what we're going to call essential workers to make um, to make the um, the service go on. So essential workers. So basically, um, if um, Sister Flag and um, Sister Lichelle can be in the booth, but if not, I can uh, man it and work it. Um, um, the ministers that might uh, be present. Deacons are welcome to be present, um, um, and then we'll see uh, who's going to lead praise and worship. Um, we'll see after that. I think the you know COVID nineteen is beginning to slow down, but I think we need to do that to be safe. Trust me, as your leader, I would love to gather and see you all face to face. Um, but that's what we're going um, to do again. So next Sunday, essential workers only, please, um, and the same for Tuesday night. You'll be able to go to the website, um, Christ Kingdom Life Center, um, the initials K, I mean C K C L I dot org, Christ Kingdom Life Center, the initials dot org, uh, and just select the live button and you'll see us live. Um, and again, I'll repeat that again on Tuesday. Um, please uh, be in um, Believe in Bigger um, by Marshawn Evans. Um, Daniels and know that it's going to be a blessing. Well, I really want to get into this word uh, and I want to encourage you um, by this word to choose better. Now, it's a familiar passage of scripture to many of you, but I want you um, to hear this. Oh, and before I forget, I'm sorry, I'd like to thank Prophet Al for sharing with the women on uh, Thursday from Proverbs 31. Um, what a great uh, blessing it was. Um, I'm not sure if it was archived. Uh, where well, you might be able to uh, view it again, but uh, I want to thank uh, Prophet for doing that. Choose better. Um, today's uh, nugget will come from Luke 10, uh, verses 38 through 42. This is what was recorded. Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. Notice she welcomed him. And she had a sister called Mary, who was also at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, listen very carefully, insert your name here. Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Now, what's interesting is, notice that Mary, uh, like we do, she welcomes Jesus into her house, Jesus into uh, her life, Jesus into every situation, Jesus into her family. Uh, we, we welcome Jesus, but I say this many times, I'm, I'm intrigued by the people who would welcome Jesus, who would be in Jesus' presence, who will be in the glory, who be where the words be de uh, being uh, disseminated, being promulgated, being uh, preached, uh, be, be in a place of intense worship. And still, watch this, really uh, leave those places, those situations the same way. Um, and, and so watch this. I think in here, uh, uh, we begin to get the prescription. We begin to get the answer. So she welcomed him. But watch this. It's her posture after she welcomes him. Uh, that causes her not to benefit from being in the presence, watch this, of Jesus, who who is the Word, the Son of God, and who is the answer for her life. Watch this. So in verse uh, 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 40, it begins to say, Martha was distracted with much serving, 
and she approached him. So uh, in some places, uh, in some translations, it says she was cumbered. Um, and, and, and in some instances, some commentators says uh, she was distracted. But what it really means is to draw from around. So instead of uh, focusing on Jesus, she was distracted. She, it, it, somehow what she was doing, uh, what she was thinking about, what she was meditating about, watch this, what was on her mind was drawing her away from Jesus. And notice what it says after, and immediately uh, it said uh, about much serving. So she was serving, and it, and it appeared like she was serving Jesus, um, but, but her heart, her, her mind, her, 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 her intent really wasn't uh, to wait on Jesus. Oh, come on, Holy Ghost. But it was to, uh, it was to do what was necessary. But watch this, her heart, her soul, her mind wasn't really in the posture of being with Jesus. And as we go through our daily uh, 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 um, um, life, as we go through our daily traditions, our daily routines, our daily uh, patterns, sometimes what we're doing uh, is what's necessary, but our intent, our, our mind, we're not really focused like this on really being with the Lord. Now, I want you to hear that right now, and, and especially as we are as we're in the midst of this pandemic and God has given us this time that, remember I said that we, we should increase our um, devotional time and we should go into another uh, 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 area with that, into another dimension with that, with our, with our prayer, with our reading of the word, with, yes, we, even with our serving um, one another, reach, uh, reaching out, um, uh, consecrating. Uh, but listen to me, it, it, and sometimes we think that activity is the action that's needed. And, and really what it is, it's more about the action that is required that you might be fully in the presence of the Lord. Not 70, 30, not 60, 40. Uh, don't y'all go there now. I'm not singing that song. But, but now, watch this. We, we want to be able to welcome him and literally breathe in his presence. Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. Now, this is the thing. Uh, uh, you, you have folks that are busy, and, and, and they're busy, um, maybe even about the things of the Lord. Uh, uh, and, and, but, but, but their heart again uh, is like Martha, not Mary. They're really not at the feet of Jesus. And what do they want to do? They want to move you out of the place of worship. I'm not going there of the Word of waiting on uh, on the Lord. Lord, you tell her to get busy. But watch the Lord's answer. Watch the Lord answer. And I really want us to. To, 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 to hone in on this. And Jesus said to her, that's absurd our name. This, this is speaking to me. This is really speaking uh, to me. Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. Really, all that can be summed up uh, into the word anxious. Uh, inward, there's an uneasiness. You're you're troubled, and outward, uh, we're noticing it because watch this. Uh, there's confusion, and you're bustling about. You, you're not really uh, pragmatic in, in in pursuing your purpose, in pursuing the Lord. It's it's here and there. It's it's here and there. But listen to me very carefully. Listen, listen, listen to me very carefully. You are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed, and this is what we have to, this is where I thank the Lord God saying, uh, there's not a lot that's required. There's just one thing that is needed. There's, there's one thing we have to hear. And I know you're going to say you know it, but it's good to hear it again. And so that I might challenge you by Holy Spirit and ask you, but are you practicing it? Listen to me, sometimes we, we think that we're going to uh, solve it by by worrying. I, I told you, I, I, I used to be, and sometimes I still slip into it, uh, where I believe in my worrying, in, in my mental activity that somehow I'll come up with the answer. I'm telling you that's not the answer. Uh, that, that's, that's, a, that's a fear. That's, a, that's something that uh, has you constrained, and, and somehow you, you, you have to, watch this, learn to rest in the Lord. Uh, and, and, to, and to begin to meditate on him and his word. Listen to me. I'm talking to somebody that I know you're just anxious. You've gotten away from the things that really have granted you peace, solitude, um, purpose, um, purposeful uh, living. Uh, you, you've really gotten away from it. And, and, and a lot of what you're doing is activity. 
And you need to admit to yourself like I have, it is unfruitful at this time. Watch this. One thing is needed. And Mary has chosen the good part. And so that's it. We have to make a choice right now to choose the good part, which will not be, it won't be taken away from her. It's the type of fruit that remains. Watch this. Psalm 27 says this. Uh, at the beginning of that verse 4, it says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Dwell means to live, not visit. Dwell, not visit. And the house of the Lord is wherever a believer is. This is a house. When we two or three are gathered, it's a house. When we get together at 5431, it's a house. I might desire that I might dwell there, that I might live there, that I might flow from the position that I'm in God and he is in me. Watch this. That I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Watch this. When you behold the beauty of the Lord, uh, the Bible records that we are changed into what we're seeing. So I'm going to get there in a minute. So, so it's worship. You, you've heard me say this before. And so, and so let's, let's walk according to how we worship. What, do you, what, do you mean, what are you saying, Pastor? I, I want us to worship and then walk in every stage of our life according to how we have worshipped. Because when we, are, when we see him, the beauty of his holiness and who he is and that his love, his power is directed toward us, it ought to give us some peace. And so when, we're at, uh, when we welcome him, one of the major things then that we must do is worship him. Yes, she's at his feet, but watch this. And so again, I am interested, uh, 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 obsessed with folk that can be in the presence of the Lord and walk away the same. It, it ought not be. You know, my, one of my favorite scriptures, the woman uh, with the issue of blood who touched him. And Jesus said, everybody's touching me. But she touched him with purpose. And so I want you to get back to that. Let's touch him with purpose. Well, Pastor, you might be assuming that I'm not. I, I, I'm talking to somebody that needs to get back to the main thing. Keep the main thing, the main thing. The stuff that's fleeting, that's bothering you, the answer is in the Lord. Let, let me let the word do it. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Uh, I, I'm going to get there, another scripture. So then we got to learn of him, to inquire of him, to, to, to ask him, to, to let him direct our path. Oh, God, do y'all hear the word? Uh, and he will, he will guide us. Watch this. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And whether the storm comes, it's going to come to those who have uh, established uh, their life on the rock, which is Jesus, and those who have established it on the sand. But watch this, there's peace when you know the storm is raging, but I'm on the rock. Amen, somebody. Matthew 11 says this, watch this, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn Hear that from me. So while Mary is at Jesus' feet, she's learning. And what she's learning, what she's hearing, what she's able to apply, apply that's what's needed at this time. Hear me. God will release strategy. He'll release resources, show you where they're, where they're at, give you uh, uh, peace when the, uh, the enemy is racking your mind, uh, watch this, and really saying you're, you're not worthy. He'll, he'll make you understand how you were bought uh, with, with, with the blood, how he paid a precious price for you, uh, so you're worthy. Uh, Y'all hear me now because I want you to, mm, we just started in COVID declaring grace and peace be multiplied to you. And I want you to not get up off of that. I want you to hear that, receive it now. Grace and peace be multiplied to you. And many times it's multiplied to you. It says in the knowledge of him, in learning him, in learning from him. Learn from me. Learn of me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest. Watch this, not just in your spirit, man, but for your souls, the seat of your emotions, your, 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 your thoughts, uh, you'll find rest there. Mm. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Did you hear that? Come to him. She welcomed him. But she did not choose the better part. Uh, one thing is needed. 
which will not be taken away from you. So listen to me very carefully. Uh, so worship at his feet. When we worship correctly, when, when, when we're in the presence of the Lord, it, it ought to always be in the posture of worshiping him. When we're in this word, and I'm going to get there, we ought to be worshiping. It means that we begin to acknowledge who God is. And when we say, oh, magnify the Lord, it means, listen, the Lord ain't getting no bigger, but it's like taking these, these gl uh, glasses and putting them on. He begins to be enlarged in my sight. And what I see, I begin to understand. And watch this. I become... Mm, who he says I am. I, I see myself different. I begin to have a different perspective on on the world when I worship him. So watch this. I walk from worship, y'all. Walk from worship. Uh, watch this. Amble through life. Make it your way through life having worshiped God. Watch this. It's foundational that we do this first thing, I believe, in the morning, and in, in the wee hours of the morning, that, that you start with 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 worship and I want you to hear this God is trying to change your pattern sometimes we have to stop and admit in the midst of us worshiping him Lord I'm worried right now but if I move into the dimension where your presence watch this is so prominent it's it's first it's uh, it's rich then something exchanges I exchange that garment of heaviness for the garment of praise because I worship him. And so I want to function in my life, not from worry, but from worship. The next thing, uh, notice now, uh, she, uh, uh, Mary chose the word. What, what do I mean by that? She's at, the, she's at the feet of the word. And as Jesus is teaching, yeah, there's stuff to do, but I, I got to stop all that. Uh, watch this. Uh, hear me, hear me, somebody. Will you allow God to change your schedule? Will you allow God to change your schedule? Yes, for for for, for time for the Word. Uh, but watch this, and, and, and somebody, you got to hear this clearly. Uh, 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 just because it's activity, just because it's action, doesn't mean it's acceptable. What do I mean by that? Uh, Jesus really tell you, you're doing a lot of action, but what is really needed now? Is a different action. It's a different choice. Uh, and, and, and you need to be in the word right now. And so God will God will change your pattern of your schedule that you might go deeper into his word. Now, this is I'm only giving you a template. I can't tell you everything to do. A template means this is a, a good a framework, a construct to work from, but I can't tell you exactly what to do. Uh, but I can tell you that I know that God is changing your pattern that the word might be even richer to you. I tell the ministers all the time, don't read the word to get messages. Read the word to be with God. Amen, somebody. Uh, and the last one, waiting. Waiting. We let, yeah, let patience have this, uh, uh, her perfect work, but also they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Y'all know it, right? But that waiting is a posture of expectation of hearing from the Lord. Of being with the Lord, and what I want, I want you to hear this. Sometimes the more mature you are, the more God doesn't mind having you wait. I'm going to say that again. The more mature you are, the longer sometimes God will have you wait. So listen to me. I'm claiming myself, Martha, and I'm redirecting. I'm rededicating uh, my approach with God. Uh, my, my sitting at his feet, wanting that rest, that that peace, that that grace that can only come from the Lord, that strategy that needs to be released in this time and season that I might need to, to move forward. Be anxious for nothing, but by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Yeah, let it be known to God. Watch this. And the peace of God the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. It'll guard your heart and your mind. Be anxious for nothing. Did y'all hear that? So let us be conscious of what the Lord has called us to do. Choose the better part. Only one thing is needed in this season and this time, and really for our whole life. And is that we be at the feet of Jesus. And, and listen to me. 
Don't let somebody tell you that's religious rhetoric. The only way it's religious rhetoric or talk, if you do not fully understand how much, watch this, not that the Lord cares for you, but that the Lord wants to teach and guide you. And here I go again. How does God want to do that? The younger you are, he may have to hold your hand. The older you are, he should be able to speak to you. And when you're even more mature, you should know his precepts. And you should be able to base your decisions off of what he has said and who he is. God bless you. So remember, again, next Sunday we are going together. You're going to have to go to um, the website, ourchurchinitials.org. Um, hit the live stream and you'll be able to see it. We're going to start at 10 uh, 30 uh, sharp. You need to get in there. We'll probably have to do two songs of worship and move right into uh, the word. And again, to all of you who have been a blessing, reaching out to each other, loving on each other, um, and even um, sowing into the ministry. May God bless you a thousand times uh, fold. I really love you. I, I want you to live in great expectation, but I want to. I want you to hear me again. Um, what we're doing in this time is such groundwork for the next dimension, the next season on what God is doing. And I'm telling you, if, if God has, it, it, we, we should be now having some major changes uh, in our patterns, in our thinking, in our ways of doing. Um, if not, you know, it's you, and, it's, it's you and your relationship with God, but I, I, I believe um, that's what God is doing in this season. Redirected reforming, um, resetting, that we might be further along into his purposes. All right, God bless you. Amen.